if it'll take those screws up, it won't. It was charged yesterday, and it won't go any higher than 10 volts. So it's, it's. I fear, I've seen you know lots of people rework those batteries and get older new ones and stuff. So I'm gonna try to do that as soon as I can. I need that when I'm working on stuff. I mean, I got an electric drill, but you gotta drag all everything out. You gotta drag it out. It's kind of hidden behind other stuff. Okay, get this stupid hat off. Then that makes me sweat. You get my. Let's just try to break them loose with a regular old fashion Phillips screwdriver. Chew up. Okay, now. Okay, yeah. I looked at the cord and in a per another precarious place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here and see what's what. Oh, I'm about to. Camera's about to fall. See what's what, and then. Uh, then I'm going to cut these links. There we go. Okay. Spray cleaner. big mud trucks. All this time, if I would have paid attention to all this in here, oh, there's the plug, two wires and everything, right there. There's my, oh, those wasps are alive. They're right there. You can't see them. They're alive. There's what's left of another one. 
Before I fiddle around in here too much more, you better eradicate those things before they sting the crap out of me. I'm surprised that they're still alive, really. Maybe you could see where I was talking about. They're up in there. Yellow jackets, that's what they want. I'll get some of that after them, I guess. They're on that side. Okay. For the light. This stuff is spray 10 feet. Yeah, at least that's not on the side where I'm working. There's another old one right there. Little bitty one. Yeah, I think they were moving so slow like that. They were probably not in very good shape because I think they were moving slow because of the other poison. It was not specific, it was the regular household all purpose stuff. Indoor outdoor. They must have made them sick. Okay, so get my CRC cleaner. I believe I can unplug that. And put you back where you you're at the right place again. There. Okay. Still alive, they fell somewhere in the truck. Here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my needle nose and unplug that power lever. That gets a two, two prong. Okay, big one on the bottom, remember that. The big one is on the bottom, they're so dirty I can't see the color. Oh. Okay, so that other wire, it's just a jumper to go off to the uh, other horn, but there's not another horn here. So, uh, you know what? That's as rusty as I'll get out. So if I'd have done this in the first thing, yeah, the big green and the little green. So, I believe this is my problem. That connector is rusty. I'm going to sand it, but give it a little spray and spray the heck out of this. Now, yeah, I had visions of having to take this horn out, but I don't think this needs to come out. Another old Washington. After I'm sure that those are all dead, after it quits dripping poison, I'll pull that out of there. Yeah, there's, there's no other horn on this little side. Oh, they're little plastic tabs. They're, they're not those metal clips that holds that drill in, they're plastic tabs. I might have a couple of those around that I've saved, hopefully. those gloves on just, just to spray the poison. I didn't want to have it all over me. Sometimes the top those little triggers leak all over you and spray everywhere. So, uh, do that. And then get up and down and up there. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm amazed it's honked at all. So, 
I'm feeling like this is it. And I get these contacts coming up that's going to work every time. And all those mysteries won't be solved. But I don't care. All those mysteries about whether or not I'm getting voted. I don't care if it works. I think the side that I can get to, yeah, the side I can get to is the one that makes the contact. I think this bolt right here, this part of holding this together, is also what's holding that. I'll give it a try and see. Rusty Busty, you would not believe how much trouble that will save you to get some good rust buster. There's a few brands in there. They're way better than the Not big enough. I think I grabbed a millimeter socket, no wonder. I'm on the wrong row. I was on the wrong side of the tracks there. I was on the millimeter zone. There we go. I think it screwed straight into the horn. It felt like it moved. Yeah, it is. I think we'll get a short socket. Oh, that was the way to go. out in case I need it. That's a nice long boat. all it is holding it in there pretty doggone simple just like I would expect it to be get her in here watch show the back I'm just gonna put that back in its spot for now okay so pretty dirty I think I'll blow it off but the bracket the hanger bracket is uh threaded it's actually it has real threads and I mean it's a you know it's sheet metal but it has a, a extrusion there actually that might be a little nut that's kind of i don't know yeah it's not sheet metal sheet metal i mean that's an eighth inch a little more but this is the dreaded blazer horn actually it's worked all these years since 1976 and i think it's just fine yeah what i was talking about was spraying contact cleaner up in here I don't know. Oh, you could take that side off, but you know, if it works here in a minute, then there's no point. But this is just plain old rusty, so I'm going to clean that up. And uh, this should be okay, hopefully, after that. Got to move some of this junk out of the way. Trying to get a little camera view of it, you know. If 
I can work on it and see it on the camera at the same time, that'd be nice. So now I'll get a little sandpaper after it. I think I'll blow it off first. So no, I won't try to move the camera again for that. Something's going wrong in my valve on my air compressor uh, tank. And whenever I turn it off, it still leaks down. Uh, so I'm still running that this whole time, and where you can't hear me, I, I, uh, it's not like it's going to stay clean. Hey, there wasn't no pressure. Okay. Uh, it's probably good as anything for this. I think there's some brass under there, or I mean copper under there. Sorry. I won't. I'll hook it back up and just test it before I screw it back in there. Sometimes I forget and I just bolt them back, <laughs> thinking they're gonna work. You know, whatever it is I'm working on. But yeah, I believe I've discovered what I could have discovered the first day. I uh, thought of that first, taking it out, looking out, but it's too hard to get to. We'll test it out. That won't be hard. And I didn't investigate the grill or anything enough, good enough to figure out how easy it comes out. And uh, stuff I read online, people would say, you know, check the horn itself and go direct to it. And, of course, I was picky about splicing into my wires and all that. But if I would have been thinking straight, I would have. Like today, I really got good, better tests. At least my test light showed me I was getting voltage out there. But I did try that, and it didn't work right. So, you know, that really doesn't make sense to me. I tried that first thing. Just do it without looking at it. That is really corroded. Actually, that doesn't look like copper. Might be a, it must be aluminum. I think I'll fold it. It's pretty well used, this old piece of paper. Let's fold it this way and then try folding it right like that. There we go. Get both sides at once. It's probably already good enough to get a connection, but I want it to be as good as you know, last longer, get most of it off of there. The fact that it would just honk perfectly once and then quit, I just thought, what in the world? <coughs> First thing to check, dirty connections. Very first thing to check, not the last. All your fancy multimeters and tests, silly little test lights, and crawling under the dash, and bitching and moaning and pulling out the relay, relay and testing it and learning about all that. Don't mean nothing if you got dirty connections to the horn or whatever it might be. But you're trying to make work. Now watch it not work any different. We'll see. I think I'll put some of that anti-corrosion junk on this too. I think I'll put it back up already. That's in the bottom of my toolbox. I may break down and open the one in the blazer. It's 
hard to get the, that's heavy and it wants to pinch your fingers and everything. I need to put, I guess I need to, I shouldn't have so much tools in the top tray, but I want to be able to get to them quick. I, don't, I like the multi-trade boxes and I love that that one has wheels and you can roll it around. I haven't really showed it, I don't think. When I bought that, I used it just for installation work. I was doing tele telecommunications equipment and wiring installation. There it is. And I, I kept all those tools clean. I didn't use them on a car or anything. But since then, I just use it for whatever I need to use it for. Sweating down my nose. Oh. Okay, let's see. I think I've just about got all the good out of this piece of sandpaper that I'm going to get. Yeah, I usually like to use a flat object, but this is not very flat. It's kind of bent up, and with the divots in it, with my fingers pressing against it, it's, you know, kind of conforms to its shape. Let's look at that. It looks like it used to be on there one way, but it feels tighter the other way, so I think I'm going to go the other way. But I'm going to get some of that stuff put on it. Let's just see if it works first. But the inside of this is still dirtier. Well, no, the part that does the contacting is... Oh, that's pretty good. Can't see good. See, I'm sure you can't see that even as good as I can in the light. But, yeah, I think that'll do. Let's hook it up. Let's see if that's clean enough. Yeah, that's good. That's top. So yeah, I'll put some of that junk in there. It keeps it from corroding as fast. That'll be quite helpful. And uh, right in that hole there. Let's look at this. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how they're designed. They have... They have... Uh, goes around and around in there. You know, that design is one that is kind of the original speaker. <coughs> You've seen the ones that look like a big old horn, like a trumpet kind of shape. Now, there's my connector. There's where you bolt it on. <coughs> Leave it down there and go honk that horn. Okay, let's go see. This is the moment of truth. I fooled you. I forgot. If I don't screw it back down at all, then it's not grounded. You already know that. Now look, look how dirty that is. Gonna have to clean that up too. Guess I'll just sand on it a bit. Just like I did. Yep. Gonna hit it with some of this. That ain't gonna do anything. A little rust buster wouldn't hurt a thing. Other than that, it's all yicky. 
Now I've got rust busted fingers. Oh well. Oh well. That's what rags are for. It doesn't burn your skin or anything. That's good. I'm gonna have to hold it away from the camera so no, I'm not. Hold it like that. I need that. Not only are the threads rusty, but the contact points rusty, so I need to sand this, and then up in the... That's so rusty, I'd like to get my drill or grinder up there. Not the big grinder, but a grinder and a drill. Let's see if it looks like I'm going to have to... A brush. A wire brush. In the drill. I think it's going to be the... Way to go. Now this is kind of working out okay. Even kind of, it seems like it kind of has a contact pad. Now that's cleaning up. Okay. Well, I think I may get that gooey stuff out and put it in there and screw it up in its place and test it. Because I won't know for sure if I have a good ground unless I screw it up in there. Yeah, and if I can sand up in there, okay, but well, I don't see good enough to do it. Okay, now that's enough contact right there. Let's uh, do the in inside. Up in there. Right up in there. Let's hit that. Let the chair sit out in the heat. Knock the straw off, darn it. Here we go. Probably gonna have to have it. Yeah. Actually, that's already drenched the brush brush from when I was trying to get that loose. Then want my straw back. It's not really going to help me if you try to get the rest off the board, but if I can get the... If I can sand that spot good, where it goes up in there, then, uh, then I think we can get a good ground. pretty well cleaned up. It looks better than this piece down here. Well, this piece is, it looks good where I sent it. The big enough, of the, what looks like it's going to only part that's going to actually make contact anyway. So, I'll get the camera marine over there and show you what all this looks like. So if you uh, ever have to get into this mess, you will know instead of discovering it the hard way like I did.
get that out of the way without dropping the light. Sorry, I'm fighting cords. Okay. I guess I should. Well, sometimes, like I said before, when I unplug it, it makes a video clip, so it probably would be a good idea anyway. Let's see, there we go. That's where I sanded it. The one on the right is the one that's got the uh, goes through. There's another hole that doesn't line up completely. Let's see. Yeah, and I don't think the bolt, I guess you could put it in either place. I can't find it. There we go. It doesn't want to go through that one. So when I put it back, it's going to be up there. And uh, that was a knockout I kept talking about, maybe knocking out. There's a hole that's already there. And that was, oh, there's not one on this side. So Now, there's no horn up in there. I don't have the light on where you can kind of see. There's no horn on my 76 Blazer. It doesn't. Uh, and that wire, I don't know why there's a double wire. I don't know what it does. Maybe it's part of the... I don't know. I didn't understand it because I thought this other wire was going off to another horn. That's what I thought. But it wasn't. And there's the connector. I cleaned it up with my box cutter. If I can get it where I can show it. There. And I'm going to put some of that anti-corrosion stuff in there first because it's... That would be a... If I have to take it back off, it's pretty easy to take off, so... But that's where you're at. See, there's the lights in there. And they're in the wall. There's a wall here, sort of. I mean, half of a wall. See, there's a pad. There's... It's just really more of a flange for... Well, to give that strength, I think. <coughs> so, um... When I plug that in, you know, it'll just plug onto the horn. And I noticed that it's a lot tighter one way, or, you know, feels quite a bit tighter one way than the other. If you spin it this way or that way, that's what I was talking about. And uh, so I'll do the tighter one. And uh, let me get that stuff out. Well, I did it again. I just cannot remember. I'm used to just dropping the cord when I'm doing stuff on cord. I'm used to having an extra wall ward on there. Okay, now I was going to kind of show. I'll go ahead and get it out of that toolbox. That's the toolbox I was talking about. But uh, I'll go ahead and get my stuff out of there. <coughs> Handle was in the center, broke off. Once you pick that up with, that's not so hard. It was a plastic panel, it hinged. I put it in a plastic bag so it wouldn't leak all over the place. If it leaked, it'd be in the bag. This is pretty darn good stuff. I used to have a tube of it that lasted me 10 or 15 years. And I don't know. I, well, I think I went back and I was going to get another tube and it was like 10, 10 to 15 bucks. And I thought, well, I don't really hardly use it that often. So I went ahead and got these for like a dollar each or something. The packets, but uh, I'm gonna put this, put some on here. Where's the connector? Put some on this connector and up in there. Let's go do the up in there first. Well, I think I'll. Uh, Move this to where I want to have it. Yeah, about like that. And I'll come back and do this in a minute. Okay. Put it on my contacts for my 
Oh, I forgot to do the actual cable thing. Do it too. That keeps, uh, uh, you know how you always have trouble with your batteries corroding and especially if you have, uh, they bounce around in here and put it on the con connect contact points for the, this and on the, uh, the electrical contact to, 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 to try to slow down that uh, rust and corrosion just from weather, you know. All that. That way, I'll have a good ground when I put it back in there. If it was hard to put that in there, I would definitely figure out some way to test it first. But. <coughs> okay. Let's put it back up in there. Actually, I'm going to plug it up first, too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I forgot all about my jumper I had on there. Good thing to dangle it around. If it got moved around, it would have shorted down. Okay, so uh, I'll show you what else I noticed just now. Um, Get these wires in one hand so I won't do the bad thing to the to the uh, phone connector again. You like my sky and trees? Okay, so uh, just figured out as I was doing that, you know, there's a little tab on the, uh, where is it? Okay, there's a little tab that pokes out of the top of the bracket. I don't think you can see it. Where is it? Well, I can show it from the top. Oh, it's way up there. Where's my finger? Uh, the light's not helping at all. Maybe it's making it worse. No, I don't think so. Maybe it would work. Okay, there's the side of the horn, I think. There. 
up in that area. I don't know if you can see the bracket or not. There's a tab sticking up. Now I'll show it. Let's get this out of the way for now. Okay, now that extra hole that I kept talking about, I was talking about. That tab goes up through that hole. It's not a line on purpose. It's not meant for a bolt to go to it. So that one bolt holds it down. Pretty cool, really. Very easy. Actually, it was very easy to get the front of the grill off. My connection seems okay. Let's put the light on it again. Yeah, here we go. If I can get the camera on it. Okay, now there's my connection. Now let's go see. Moment of truth number two. Will she work? I'm going to back up because I don't see any other good place to set this camera but back here. Hold on. You know, it's, uh, there's a lot of things I don't like about this particular tripod, but it's actually easier to use like that moving around a lot than that other one. Way easier. Okay. The other one's really good for fine-tuned adjustments and then just leave it. Okay. Let's go see. My power cord was about to disconnect. Okay. Let's have another moment of truth after I get situated. All that bending around my pants and want to fall down. what I'm talking about I believe it's gonna work every time now whenever it was leaving you might have thought I was honking at him but I didn't see my hoods up so across the street never okay uh, I'm picking up cables here while I'm thinking So, I am hot and tired, so I'm going to eat lunch before I endeavor to do any more finishing up work. And, uh, okay, so, let's get over here and get a drink of water. Yeah, I'll put that, I will put the, uh, Put that toolbox tray back, but I don't want to do it right now. Let's see. Okay, I'll drink water. Figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, next, I'm going to eat lunch. And, uh, then I'll come back and put the grill back on, and also I'll try to dig around and see if I can find any uh, more plastic clips like that. With clip in and I save stuff, everything, so maybe I'll have some with a clip in and then a, a screw, you know, place you can put a screw, sheet metal screws all the way on. And, uh, that'd be awesome. If not, I'll have, I want to figure out something because that grill was only had one screw in the middle that was holding anything. I can't believe those screws didn't fall out. Maybe those clips are on the back, I didn't look. Probably are. They probably just uh, came out with the screws. Hmm. I'm thirsty. Well, my battery's blinking really fast. That means it's not going to charge. Now it's blinking normal. We'll see what happens this time. So, uh, I guess I'll put this. I keep thinking I'm going to need it again. Let's leave it out this time. I keep having to get it out. It's easier to drop it through the middle hole in that toolbox than to get that tray in there. Better put the tray back because if I don't, I'll forget it. Bump into it and knock it off of there. That would be seriously awesome.
close the lid now. There's a lot of things about it I don't like, but I, when I used it, like uh, when I was doing that telco installation work, uh, we, we were going on like 11th floor in one telco office in Oklahoma. So I just roll that and I'd set my, set my socket box. That one there, on top of it, and bungee it on. It fell off once in the elevator. And dumps almost, I didn't lose anything. And a lady was in the elevator that worked at the, in the office part, you know. And, uh, or whatever. Yeah, she was like, I don't know what she did. But anyway, she started out grab. oh, she goes, oh, when she started helping me grab my, because they were rolling everywhere towards the cracks in the elevator, but in the door had a big crack where they could fall through. Called them all. I think it was only one tray. The reason that fell is because the whole side broke out. I'll show you. That's one bad thing. This is the bad thing. I grew up with metal and sturdy metal. They were heavy. Sturdy metal toolboxes or wooden ones that were custom made by a neat carpenter. I put those screws in there because the whole side fell out and the whole thing just kind of collapsed in the elevator. But anyway, other than that, I went up and down the elevator quite a bit for a week or two working at that telco. Yeah, so I had all the tools, and everybody was like, Hey, can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? Yeah, but you put it back where you got it. But, uh... uh <coughs> I even had people from other crews want to borrow my tools if they discovered I had them. And I had it rigged up with this cable where I can lock it. But, uh, because, you know, indeed, when you go off working somewhere else, you're worried somebody's going to borrow them for good. So, it's okay, I never had anything stolen. So, anyway, uh, stop jabbering and go eat lunch. I'll usually jabber when I'm kind of tired like that. Okay, we'll turn you off now. <coughs> and go in the house and cool off and eat lunch. Alright, let's go on. Bye-bye.